there's a certain freedom that you feel when you get out on, on the water. Not everyone finds their life's passion as a child. And the area just was, was very interesting to a young kid. I mean, you hop on your bike, you come down here and... But Bob Stark did. There's even a photo of it happening. I'm probably, what, maybe 10, 11 years old there. That's when he took the wheel of a family friend's boat on Lake Winnebago. That's when it bit, and it's, it's been there ever since. I mean, look at the look on that face. <laughs> and he's never looked back. I've had a boat since I was 12 years old. Soon, Bob's view went beyond the shores of Lake Winnebago. You could see the tugboats going out here on the water. They would have to take and go out around the entrance buoy before they could come into the river and, and go to the various yards that are along the river. One day it was like, yeah, you can go anywhere in the world from here. The key was the Fox River Locks. A series of 17 bays where boats could enter at one water level and exit at another. Up or down, depending if you're heading upstream to Lake Winnebago or downstream to Green Bay. The water drops 170 feet going through the lower Fox River from when it leaves Lake Winnebago until it enters the Bay of Green Bay. That's about the height of Niagara Falls, if you put that into perspective. What's even more amazing is the locks don't rely on big pumps and motors. 12 turns to open the gate. They are all operated by hand and with a simple understanding of physics. Hi there. Hi. When a boat enters the lock, the doors are closed. And a series of valves are open to allow the water to drain down to the level of the next segment of the river. We used to tell our kids it was kind of like being in a bathtub. Then the next set of doors are opened and the boats can go. Away we go. To go upstream, just reverse the process. Water from upstream fills the lock to the proper level. It fills up with water and then you go through a little door thingy. Gravity makes the water pressure pushing on the doors so strong, it's impossible to open them until the water level and pressure on both sides is equal. When you're in a lock, you, you get a real appreciation for the power of water. The locks were built in the 1850s. Wisconsin became a state in 1848, and the construction of the lock system was actually the first public works project for the state of Wisconsin. At the time, water was the main highway to get goods in and out of the Fox Valley. The original log books show a lot of coal coming in and paper products heading out. Eventually, the railroads and interstate system made commercial shipping on the Fox River obsolete. The last trip, I want to say, was, was, I think, officially in 1988. Federal funding for maintenance dried up, and the Fox River locks fell into disrepair and were closed. Ultimately, the whole system was destined to be filled in, in some instances literally torn out, and it just simply would have gone away. I found out about this group that was trying to preserve it. I got involved with them. The group became the Fox River Navigational System Authority. Bob became chairman and then CEO. The more that I got into it, um, the more personal it became. Bob knew firsthand the impact the locks had on his life and his children. It's been part of my fabric ever since I was a, a small kid and didn't know I was learning physics. I didn't know I was learning history. That's why I got involved and why I have the passion to do what I do. This needs to be preserved for everybody so that other people can experience that as well. It took 10 years and $15 million but the locks are restored and busy. You go to a museum and you, you 
you, uh, you stand on this side of the rope, here you are in this living museum and, and you're actually using it and, and you're, you're helping to preserve it. It's been a long time since Bob's first trip through the locks, but it never gets old. It, it's a thrill. It's just, it's amazing to me that you can do that. I mean, you can't get there from there unless you do that, right? This is the last lock going down river. You can see the mouth of the bay down there. There's the world out there. <laughs>